Hello and welcome back. Now I'm going to tack this on to the end of yesterday's uh, top up session. Uh, there ha I have had news. Yeah, very sort of grave news. Um, and this is a storyline. <laughs> this is continuance of the storyline, so don't panic. This is not. Yeah. My uncle, um, my dad, is uh, one son of seven brothers. Um, and three sisters yeah uh, bottom line is a year ago one of my dad's brothers died now that this much I know and I obviously went to the funeral but his wife has struggled with the farm and there's been a few bad managers and basically they've gone into negative um, yeah negative equity in a massive way and the bank are about to foreclose now this I know so I have got to dart off to from uh, Lapacho and I've got to go over to actually America and um, one yeah they live in America in uh, Westbridge Hills and the farm is about to get foreclosed and this is family so yeah it means everything to me now I'm gonna literally yeah it seems highly appropriate that we take the fastest tractor the, this one that is as fast as a car or a lorry and we are going to literally I'm going to dart over and have this shipped across to America to be with me there and I'm going to jump on a uh, plane and fly over myself so this shall be joining me shortly over there it will so yet yeah, with no further ado I am leaving the patio temporarily and we are scooting over to Westbridge Hills so yeah I am going to uh, yeah we're leaving for now definitely yeah it is it is it, it is the sort of thing you would obviously do it's not something that you would uh, leave family in the lurch when they need you you need to go so that's exactly what I'm going to do so I am literally yeah you should see me shortly from a camera's perspective in America so I shall see you on the other side hello and welcome back right I've got the sin track in uh, had a minor malfunction I've uh, had a new adapter delivered to the shop because my rear adapter has gone bad so, yeah there was an accident on the boat so yes yeah, just got to pick that up from the shop. We're whizzing over to see my uh, aunt. I am about to sign the papers to transfer the ownership of the farms over to myself, including all debt. And then we are going to, yeah, we're going to do a bit of a... Now, I know you're all familiar with Erlang, um, and they were the dastardly company that really did have it in for me but not everybody in Erlang was bad they were, I did have a few contacts that were decent people yeah that were keeping me abreast of things that were happening in the in the office if you remember so I'm using those contacts not the yeah not Erlang themselves to um, basically I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the debt, the huge amount of debt on from this, we are going to strip the assets from the farm and I'm going to take any minus hit, any debt that's left, so I will have a huge debt, then what we're going to do is strip all assets, sell everything from the farm, hopefully clear as much of that debt, because it is going to be, yeah, almost 5 million I should say, roughly, definitely so yeah, that is what we are going to do, and I have still totally... No, I haven't, I didn't remember. I thought I'd forgotten I did it on automatic pilot, I was so busy talking to you. Right, okay then, so what I'm going to do first is, yeah, actually, I'm going to talk to my aunt in the house. We are going to do the run. Now, my aunt has, we have, she has friends and family, and she is moving in with some of our family in this area. So she is, yeah, she's sorted. It's not, but she has no. Uh, obviously, it was never my uncle's or my aunt's plan to be minus four and a half, five mil in the bank, and for that to be the way things were. So, I'm. My idea is the sin track is it's four hundred odd thousands. It's brand new. We're going to sell that to 
and we are going to get what we can but I'm going to sell that separately I'm going to give that to my aunt so ownership will transfer from the Sintrack to my aunt now that one we're going to have to do differently I'm just going to yeah because I can't sell this in this it's going to then just transfer funds straight into my funds because it's technically mine so we're going to sign papers after this I've got to be very careful not to sell this quickly when I sell we're also going to sell all farm equipment so we're going to have a farm sale and yeah the one thing we are going to have to do is let's do this before while I'm chatting because yeah I've got to get rid of the animals to actually sell the placeables so let's do that now this does go weird it does the uh, um, obviously if I click the minus it goes to the maximum amount of animals it doesn't do that with the um... oh, it's just one yeah so that is now empty right but if you come over here and do it to these, there's some sort of weird glitch. I shall show you. Watch me say that, and now it's going to work. It always does when you do say things like that. Right, select. Yeah, now 15. Oh, okay. Now it's, yeah, that's, that's predictable. It really is. No, it is 8. Oh, and it is doing... <laughs> Okay, oh well, I've obviously was doing something wrong the first time, right now that should be, is that right, is it, yeah it is 8, there was always one left when I did this earlier a few minutes ago, because I made a mistake, which means I've got to come back in and do this again, ah you see now that time it did, or was that, yeah, Right, whatever. Yeah, it, it is what it is. Right, so at least now. So now what we're going to do, going to do is strip the assets of the farm. I'm going to transfer ownership, which is going to give me a massive deficit. You shall see the amount change. I'm just going to have a word with my aunt, and then we're literally, yeah, the papers will be signed. The solicitor is waiting in the house. So, in fact, yeah, let's do this the easy way. Let's jump to... In fact, yeah, we can visit the house. Let's do this the easy way. Right, I shall see you guys and girls shortly, just after this conversation. And you shall see the money is going to be rather a bit different. So, see you shortly. Right, yes. Now, that is a little bit painful, to say the least. And it is such a travesty that my aunt, after all my aunt and uncle's hard work on the farm, has got to sell this. I mean, obviously, farmers often are in equity in the bank's often are lending and sort of technically on paper own the property but this this is a travesty of massive proportions it's not unheard of as well obviously people do get foreclosed on a daily basis and sometimes got generations of time left and this is a very bad side to farming and banking as well to be honest but yes this is my problem now my problem to sort so let us asset strip. I'm going to sell all these assets and we are also going to sell all of our equipment to try to offset this massive, massive 4.5 million debt. And I've got to be careful not to sell this interact because that's going to be given to my aunt. That is her nest egg. It is, which is going to leave us with no equipment, no money, no land. Yeah, when we finish this, we're still probably, well I would imagine we're definitely going to be still in debt by a huge amount which is going to seriously limit the way that I've got to, yeah I'm going to be penniless in America and I've got to get myself out of this mess and I can't have workers obviously because I'm going to be minus, I can't buy fertilizer or anything like that so yeah this is going to leave me in a world of pain but it's the sort of thing you do do for family so with no further ado let's get let's get selling I'm gonna time lapse this so I'm gonna say my words I'm gonna see you guys and gals on the other side <laughs>
Right, that is is definitely us done. All that is left of the farm is oh wow, that is a lot actually. Gordon Bennett, that's going to be that's going to take some doing. This is obviously the only thing that I cannot sort out through normal game mechanics. Yeah, this will be sorted out off camera because otherwise it will totally totally muck things up. Oh, let's shut the gate. Yeah, this is the end of an era. It is and leaves us in rather a pickle. Yes, when we've dropped this off at my aunt's house in the town, yeah, then seriously, we are going to be in a absolute mess. We are, but you cannot leave family in a mess like that, can you? Let's be honest. Yeah. Well, not if you care about your family anyway, at all. I don't know that anybody would quite go to the lengths that we've gone to, but yeah, I don't know. I think there's a lot of people who look after their care about their family enormously. Now then, we got to be careful. I don't think this... Yeah, does this... Oh, no, this is a good road. Yeah, the windy road around there, that is horrible. It really is. Right, we're going to leave this at my aunt's... Well, where my aunt is staying. I can't say it's my aunt's house. It's, she is staying with family, so... this at the door and next session it will no longer appear in our inventory we will be totally well penniless is an understatement we are pretty much back pretty much bankrupt and with not a penny or anything to our name whatsoever this. In fact, is there a better way? Let's see if there is a better place to leave it. No, there is no proper, proper, yeah, there isn't. No, that'll do nicely. Nice right, that is us. Leaving ourselves in a nasty, nasty position. So, what do we do? We are penniless. I haven't, yes, obviously I have got, you can see in my garage, I have got those. There's nothing I can do about that right now. I am, will transfer ownership of them and they will not muck around with the money or anything. Settings for this Let's Play are this, the biggest challenge to date, you could say. Definitely. All my standard settings, dirt is on slow, fuel usage is in normal. It is, it was obviously a new farmer, but yeah, it is, it's normal economy, it isn't easy. Ooh. What on earth did I do there? Yeah, real time. I oh, just knocked that up. Normal economic difficulty. Normal settings. My yeah, crop destruction is on. Periodic plowing is it's off. Because that's the only thing I always do switch off. Everything else slow. Normal fuel usage. Yeah, I have got my maintenance costs at what has become my de facto. 50% slow down a little. Sorry. Reduced to 50% because the costs are expensive and they slowed down to 25% interval on paints although I don't think the paint thing works if I'm honest I don't it still seems to get very damaged very quickly but nevertheless that's my standard settings as much as I can so rules of engagement well we're minus 761,000 so we cannot buy anything until that deficit is closed. The game will not allow me to do that. I cannot hire a worker. So we are on our own. Totally on our own. And all we have got is, as we all know, contracts. It's the only way I can possibly dig myself out of this hole and make a start on this, yeah, this map. Oh, that's just show. Yeah, that is true. Let's show you that this is not a... Yeah, we've only been playing the 21 minutes it's taken me to strip those assets. This is not a trick or anything else like that. So there's only the driving distance that we've just done, the fuel usage that we have done, and, yeah, the time played. So, yes, I suppose ah, that is a thing. There are collectibles on this map. I could. I could, actually. That is true. I think... Should we start on this map with a treasure hunt to try and clear my name that way before we start the real business of farming yes it would be nice actually thinking about it never has there been a, a better time for collectibles actually yeah for digging myself out of the mess that i'm in so 
I'm going to time lapse this because this is going to take a while. Now I do know I have had a let's play on this, which is why I'm back on this because I thought storyline. I want there to be a storyline, and I want to give myself the greatest challenge I've ever had to date, which <laughs> this certainly is. Yeah, I've never been minus in the thing. Bank loans, we will not allow. No, we shall not. We're going to be really stern on this one. It has definitely got to be. Yeah. So no bank loans. Leasing. Should we set this the ultimate challenge? No leasing. We only work with equipment we own or we borrow off a farmer. That's the only thing we can do. Well, that's all we can do anyway, temporarily. But we're going to say no loans. No leasing. We have to own the equipment that we use. No matter how gangly or good, it's got to be us. Let's have a look in the sales. Go on, let's see. Let's tease ourselves with what we... Oh, my my absolute... The Deutz. Oh, that is amazing. And the cab over. How oh, is that not typical? All, I could buy every single one of those pieces of equipment. They're all good. <laughs> and of course, that's typical. That's going to be the case. Right, so we are at the whim of the contract system. So let's have a look. Ooh, my favourites. We have got, we can't do fertilising because we are minus and we can't buy any fertiliser. So that's definitely out. Now, baling, on the other hand, baling we can do. Now, that is a point. Is the biogas working now? Is it. Actually, no, I think the biogas club was always working on this one, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Yeah, absolutely. And it's. No, it's there. As long as we can see the chevrons, the, yeah, it's working, smashing. Right, so we need to go, in fact, no, we don't need to go anywhere. We can actually take those two contracts. We will indeed, but we will borrow. Let's just see the best. <gasps> yeah, there's not much in it, actually. So I'm going to be clever this time and not take the same equipment twice. Right, we're going to borrow items. <laughs> And then we are going to just accept that contract. Brilliant. So, this is all going to be me, me and me, because I can't hire a worker. So, this is, yeah, this is the rules of engagement. This is the start of our time on the map. While I'm talking, I'm going to do this. This, yeah, this is the first session is going to be what we've done today. The next session is going to be me working my backside off to actually try and get us out of this massive massive debt by using the contract system and there's no better way to do this than bailing but of course this is now i've already done one of these to see what the fields are 14 and 17 they're both going to be massive this is going to be a tad different to the first time i try triumphantly oh and it's 14 as well and 17 should we do the small one now? Which one did? Oh, I always forget to do that. We'll get the big one out of the way first, which is right above us. Let's go jump into that. Yeah, I did this quite easily last time, but we're not going to be doing it so easily this time. Yeah, because I had workers to help me and assist me. This is going to be as I hinted at last time, where I said, as I'd finished with using course play and all the rest of it, I said, uh, yes. It would have been rather a lot different if I had done all of this myself. And now, what am I contemplating doing? Oh, my life. We are not only contemplating, but we are about to do this all on our own things. So this is going to span a few sessions for doing these two contracts. I think what I'm going to do first is... Now, that's a point. How is the weather going to be today? Do we have any chance of showers during the day? No, because I think this, this month... Day, you stop saying it right. We need to smash it, swath up, or do we? Ah, I got that as a point. I think it was they were both biogas plant, weren't they? Both, I'm sure they were. Yeah, and yes, so smashing, yeah. So we can for once swath up. Right, so that is where I'm going to leave it because next session is always going to try and hammer this horrible biggest debt that I have ever owed. Well, it was 4.5 million, but yeah. It's witted down to a whimsical three quarters of a million dollar debt now, which is, yeah, it's, it's a dream. This is exactly the kind of start I wished. At least for a normal economy, it's not, yeah, it's not going to be 
crippling crippling like no, a hard economy is an absolute beast to deal with it really is i did contemplate doing this and i thought it's if you're going to be like minus a million or whatever in debt you are going to be marmalized and also the other thing is this is supposed to be entertainment it's supposed to be challenging where you see that this is a real challenge but it's also supposed to be doable and not that you're watching me for three months trying to claw out of debt where you like think oh my life will you get out of debt anytime soon so yeah this is hopefully going to be interesting as well i will time lapse this though because this is going to be monstrous and i would understand if you just whizzed in and out of the uh, time lapse because it is going to be monstrous it is and there's nothing i can do about that this is the farm what else can i do there is nothing for me to do other than try to get out of debt so I shall start recording on the next session where we get to work. So I'm going to see you guys and girls, hopefully, in the next session. Goodbye for now.